This video is brought to you by our sponsor, Gas Lamp Quarter Mardi Gras Parade, San Diego's largest Mardi Gras celebration. Hey there, welcome to another edition of the Daily Aztec Sports Talk with Matt and Pat. I'm Pat. And I'm Matt. Today we're going to talk about, what else, SDSU basketball. That's right, San Diego State's coming off a 58-47 win over Fresno State on Tuesday night. Uh, Akil Quinn led all scores with 16 points, 4 of 6 from the field, 7 of 10 from the free throw line, and Angelo Choll. Got double digits again. Strong performance off the bench with 10 points. Strong. Very, very strong, just strong, like he did. So, strong dude. San Diego State improves to 6-2 and two in the conference, which is now tied for first place after these startling events on Tuesday night that involved the very confident Utah State team coming to San Diego on Saturday. Yeah, this Saturday night's game became very different on Tuesday night when out of nowhere, Utah State throttled the University of Wyoming Cowboys by 12, 56-44, they made what looked like a top-notch Mountain West team in the previous games, Wyoming. They made them look really, really, really bad. Um, the thing about Utah State is that they're young. Three of their top five scorers are freshmen and sophomores, so they're a little bit inconsistent, kind of like UNLV, young mm -hmm. talent, can't really put it together every game. A lot of game. potential, though. A lot of potential. They've had stresses where they've lost to UC Davis and USC, and then they have games where they beat Wyoming. So you don't really know what you're going to get. So what are you looking for this Saturday? I'm looking for Malik Pope to play some significant minutes. Like Give 20. Me a 20? 20. 20. Let's say 20. Um, of course, Malik Pope had that breakout game in last week's loss against Colorado State. 22 points, 7 rebounds on 9 of 11 shooting, 4 of 4 from 3-point range. He didn't really get the ball much um, on Tuesday against Fresno State. Did Came make a little bit down, back down to earth. Just little a little bit. bit. But the fans love him. When he first stepped out on the court, rousing standing ovation for the young freshman. Very talented freshman as well. Um, I'm looking for him to get 20 minutes at least because um, he has very sixth man like qualities where he can come off the bench and change the dynamic of a game immediately. What are you looking for on Saturday? I'm looking for something that's kind of been a, a slowly developing trend this entire season. I'm looking for finally on Saturday Angelo Chol to get more minutes than Skylar Spencer. I think he's won that. I think he's earned that. I, think I don't so think too. he's going to start because Fisher likes to start the best defensive lineup. Um, but when Scholl's in the game, that offense is completely different. Yeah. Akil Quinn says it all the time. Fisher says it all the time. Inside-out basketball is their bread and butter. Angelo Scholl is a significant threat in the paint. Skylar Spencer isn't. Mm -hmm. um, in the second half against Fresno State, Angelo Scholl made four of the Aztecs' eight baskets. He made half their shots. Wow. And he was completely dominant down there, and it opened up shots on the perimeter. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm looking for Angelo Scholl to get more minutes, and I think – when that happens, this team could go to a whole nother offensive level. I'm talking over 65 points, Patrick. Oh, over, over 65, 65 points. Over 65 points. You heard it here, folks. Prediction for the game. Wow. <laughs> That's bold. That is bold. That's very bold. Yes, it like is bold. Bold face 16-point lettering in your Word document. Yes, yes. What is your prediction for this game? Uh, San Diego State. I'm thinking I like your 65 points. I'm going to go uh, San Diego State 67, Utah State 54. That's okay. my score prediction. Do you have score prediction? 70 to 55. I think SDSU okay. will blow them out of the water. Okay. All right. Well, that wraps up another edition of the Daily Aztec Sports Talk. And now it's time for Rock'em Sock'em Robots, which, if you remember, I won last you time. You win a lot. I That's think right. It's a you win a lot. Oh. Oh, what just happened? Oh, what just happened? Wesley knows. Wesley knows. Bye-bye. There you go. Once again, thanks to our sponsor, Gas Lamp Quarter Mardi Gras Parade, San Diego's largest Mardi Gras celebration.